Well, hey, folks, uh, big news this week. Of course, Rick Santorum finally, mercifully out of the race. And just a couple days after Easter, too. That one must have must have been rough for the Jesus. But, uh, yeah, he's gone. It'll be Romney, as we always knew it would be. Uh, but before we say our final goodbyes to Mr. Santorum and his sweater vests, um, it's worth spending a little time to think about what he represented, that kind of politicized, very right-wing brand of Christianity that we've all come to know and love and that he epitomized so well. Look, I'm not a Christian, but I used to be, and i got to think that if I were still on that team, I would be furious with what the Rick Santorums of the world are doing to Christianity. Like, if you believe this stuff, I would think that your number one priority as a Christian would be making more Christians. You know, according to the Bible, we're all born into sin, cursed from the day we're born to burn in hell for eternity when we die, and the only way out of that is to believe in Jesus. The Bible, of course, also says that it's not God's will that anyone should perish, i.e. go to hell, so I would think that as a Christian, job one would be recruitment. You know, go forth and make disciples, as somebody once said. But instead, when you think of Christians in America, what do you think of? I got one thing to say. Get out! This is what the homosexuals can do. They don't really care about how much they destroy. Yeah. The major component of global warming uh, is to reduce population. Of course, population control uh, includes uh, abortion. It also includes uh, same-sex relations. Right, it's those assholes. And of course, our good buddy, Frothy McSweatervest. I think it's harmful to our society uh, to have uh, a, a society that says that you know, sex outside of marriage is something that should be encouraged or, 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 or tolerated, particularly among the young. And uh, I think it has, uh, we've seen very, very harmful long-term consequences to a society. So birth control to me enables that. It's about some phony ideal, some phony theology. Oh, not a theology based on the Bible, different theology, but none, no, no, no less a theology. So Christians in America, what are you doing? You're letting these people define you. Like, you can say that's not what Christianity is really supposed to be about, and to some extent you might be right, but it doesn't matter. Like people, that's what people see. People see Rick Santorum. People see Pat Robertson. And your average non-believer isn't going to see you as the folks with the answers. They're going to see you as the angry, judgmental pricks who think that women shouldn't have contraception and that gays are destroying America. By the way, yeah, the Bible says homosexuality is a sin, but who the hell made you the judge? Like, e even if you believe that, if Tom wants to put his dick in Harry, that's between them and God. You and I got nothing to do with it. You know what else the Bible says is a sin? Lying. That one made it into the Ten Commandments. And... I think that lying might be just a little bit more widespread than homosexuality. But where's the hue and cry about rampant dishonesty destroying our society? Of course you're never going to hear that, are you? Because it's not really about morality, it's about politics. It's about playing on people's prejudice. It's just like many years ago when Jerry Falwell, supposed man of God, was out there defending segregation. But see, the difference there is, back then there was an answer. There were churches out there fighting for civil rights. There was Martin Luther King. Where is that now? Where is today's Martin Luther King? Because, like, it's one thing for me to say this stuff. I'm an atheist. I think this is all fairy tales and nonsense. And if Christianity becomes increasingly small and fringy and irrelevant, I'd be kind of cool with that. But if you believe in this stuff, I would think they'd be on you to stand up and smack these people down loudly and in, in an organized way. Uh, like, we like to say that Muslims have a responsibility to denounce their extremist elements. Well, the same is true here. Like, your extremists might not be flying planes into buildings, but they're doing their own kind of damage. And if for no other reason than the damage they're doing to the whole brand of your religion, I think you'd have an interest in going out there and saying, this is not us. This is, these people do not represent what we stand for. Christianity is about following Jesus and being and doing good and judging not lest you also be judged. That's what I would think. But what do I know? Just wish we had a little bit more time to spread me a few more places.